processes and threads in java what are process and threads in java programming and how can thread programming be done with the help of java hello everyone i'm sukanya from goedu hub technology and in this video firstly we are going to study a difference between process and thread so process basically an executing program is called a process but a thread is small parts of that particular process that means the process which are being executing one by one so thread can be small part of those processes every process has its separate address space whereas all the threads of the process share the same address space cooperatively as that of a process process based multitasking allows a computer to run two or more than two programs concurrently whereas thread based multitasking allows a single program to run two or more threads concurrently so it is running on the basis of thread only communication between two processes is expensive and very limited whereas communication between two threads is less expensive as compared to the process context switching from one process to the another process is very expensive so the process has to hold and the resources have to hold but context switching from one thread to another thread is less expensive as compared to the process execution process are lightweight task whereas thread are also called lightweight task process are heavy because they are executing as a whole program but thread are executing as a small parts of that particular process hence it is a lightweight task whereas process are heavy weighted process based multitasking is not under the control of java but thread based multitasking is under the control of java now we will study about thread class that what is a thread class and what are the constructors there in thread class so java provides thread class to achieve thread programming thread class provides constructor and methods to create and perform operations on a thread thread class extend object class and implements runnable interface constructors of thread class are thread thread along with the string name you can mention in the parameter thread runnable r thread runnable r and the string name now there are two ways to create a thread first is by extending the thread class that you extend the thread class so what we have done that we have created a class naming sample and extend it to the thread class in that we have created a function run and the system dot out print ln statement we have mentioned that example by extending thread class that is i am printing now in the static void main method we have created the object of that particular class and then a new object is created s1 and then s1 dot start to begin that particular thread execution so thread can be the first way to create a thread is by extending the thread class so let us write this program and see that how threads can be implemented with the help of extending thread class in java here you can see that i have written the program and saved my file as pr1.java here what i have done just now i have explained i have written the same code only now firstly what i am going to do i am going to compile this file to check if there are any errors or not for that the syntax is javac and then the file name dot java so file name is pr1 dot java so if there are any errors that will be displayed while compilation only so there are no errors now you can run the class file we always run the class file for running of program which is generated after the compilation of dot java file so the class file here will be sample and when i execute that particular file you can see that it is showing example by extending thread class as that is given in the println statement now the next way to create another thread or execute a thread is by implementing the runnable interface now implementing the interface so implement is a keyword used when the class and the interface are being linked together for that we use the keyword implements that we have already studied in interfaces so now you can see here that we have created another class named sample1 it is also very similar having a run method and in the system dot out print ln statement we have given that example by implementing runnable interface in the void main method we have created a new object s1 and then a new thread is also initialized over here that thread t1 new thread s1 of that particular object this thread is created and then t1 dot start thread execution is started so now let us run this program and see that how threads are implemented using runnable interfaces here also you can see that i have written the program here with the help of runnable interface and then i have declared firstly object of that class and then a new thread i have created that is t1 here thread is executing so compilation is done there are no errors now i'm going to run the class file and the name of class file is sample1 so let me execute that class file and that shows that example by implementing runnable interface so threads can be executed 
in two ways that is with the help of runnable interfaces and the other way is by extending the particular thread class. So by the end of this video we have studied about what is the difference between process and thread. How can be a thread class implemented with the help of extending that particular thread class and then with the help of runnable interfaces. For more concepts of Java and programs we will look into upcoming videos. Thank you.